The latest issue of Popular Mechanics lists the top technological inventions of 2008. Glenn Doreen is Senior Technology Editor. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning. Welcome. So, okay, explain why yeah, we have to... What is this stuff? <laughs> yeah. This is the uh, Pure Water Purification System. It's actually made by a not-for-profit uh, subsidiary of Procter & Gamble. And what it does is it takes dirty water like this and through a process known as flocculation actually makes all the particulate fall to the bottom and chlorine cleans it up so that you can actually just pour it through a little filter mm -hmm. and then just drink it. So okay, now this water came from where? This water came from, the dirt in the water came from my backyard. Uh -huh. So uh, it's actually, does anybody want to drink it? I'll drink I it. I told Julia I'd give her a dollar. Yeah, let me see the dollar. It smells good. So it, now here's the question, because it got the dirt yeah, out. tastes yeah. good too. It got the dirt out. Yep. What about microbes and the stuff that's okay <laughs> well, right well yeah. the, fl the flocculation process actually makes the microbes adhere to the uh, flock which right is called the flock and fall right. to the bottom and also the wow. chlorine kills off bacteria and viruses so wow. it's, it's totally pure wow. all right explain makes me want to have some <laughs> explain what this does this is called the circulating tumor cell chip now right now people may not realize this but there is no commonly available blood test for cancer the idea here is that without any surgery or operations, you can actually just take a blood sample, pump it through this, and the cancer cells stick to it so they can diagnose cancer earlier. Wow. That is phenomenal. Now, is this widely, is this in wide use yet, or not is it yet. just brand new? No, not yet. It's actually still in testing right now. Okay. So, uh, hopefully, you know, obviously the medical testing process can take as long as it takes. That but it's phenomenal. But what is it called again? It's called the circulating tumor cell chip. Wow. And it's it's made on silicon, even though it's not actually a computer chip. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There now, you go. This, we saw you playing I, with this, this pen. Before, yeah, this is by a company called Livescribe. It is the uh, Livescribe Pulse Smart Pen. It costs $150 mm -hmm. right now. And basically, as as you take notes before we recorded you uh, talking, as you take notes, it records audio and cues up the audio to your notes. So all you have to do is tap on the notes and it will cue right up. And all the uh, buttons are actually made of, are on the paper. It uses a special paper with a dot oh, pattern. Oh, oh, oh. And there's a camera in there that actually sees where it is on the page. Huh. How, much How is this going to change the world? Uh, well, let's put it this way. For people like me, journalists who are constantly interviewing, uh -huh. it's already changing the oh, world yeah, for I'll me. Bet. I'll How bet. much is it? It's $150 for the one gigabyte version. Okay, real quick. And here we have the Potenko pull cord power generator. This thing actually makes electricity on yeah. the go just by pulling it okay. very much like you would do with uh, yeah. okay. a, to start a lawnmower. And tell me about Dave's new car over there. Uh, that is the Aptera. That's one of our coolest, uh, one of our coolest inventions. It's an electric car right now, but they're coming out with a uh, a hybrid version by next year that should get 300 miles to the gallon. It, 300. It has less wind resistance than the side view mirrors of a pickup truck. <laughs> How much money, real quick? Uh, they're looking actually to make this in the thirty to uh, twenty thousand dollar range.